Welcome to the South Florida Fishing Channel where today we're going to make some swordfish, homemade swordfish lead weights. Mmm, lead weights. The healthiest thing on the market. Also, one of the most expensive things on the market when it comes to fishing for swordfish, deep dropping, basically anything. I'm going to show you how to make these lead weights for any kind of fishing, but mainly swordfish weights. And tomorrow I'm actually uploading a sword fishing video, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get notified about that. But let's just dive into it. So this is a swordfish weight that weighs eight pounds and I bought it, I think at West Marine or at some fishing shop, and it was $34 or $33.99. Dang, if you lose a few of these on one fishing trip, that gets pretty expensive. And it wasn't quickly before I found out that I'm spending more money on lead than on gas on some fishing trips. So, let's make our own lead weights. There's essentially four things that you need to make a lead weight. You need the lead, which I'll talk about how to get some lead. You'll need something to melt lead with. In this case, this is a LEE Pro 420. I'll add a link to the video description where you can buy one of these. But all you really need is a metal pot and a ladle. This is a ladle because once the lead is melted, you just ladle it out and pour it into your mold. So any metal pot, steel pot would work just fine and you just put it over a propane burner. Lead does not need to be very hot to melt, so that would work just fine. But I have this, so this is what I use. So lead, a way to melt the lead, and then you need a mold, which you're gonna pour your lead into. In this case, we're using, this is a White Claw, lime flavored, doesn't matter what flavor you use. This is a raspberry flavored claw. This is a lead weight I have already made. This is a 12 ounce can, and a 12 ounce can is going to roughly give you a lead weight. If you fill it up to the top, that weighs 8.2 pounds, like this one. This is one I already poured, and this weighs 8.2 pounds. I was able to hit the bottom of the ocean in 1700 feet here at Floyd's Wall off Key Largo when I was sword fishing there in the video that you're going to see tomorrow. This made it down, it actually, I hit the bottom on 1800 feet with this lead weight. The current wasn't ripping too hard, I think the current was only 2 knots. If you have a more strong current, 3 knots maybe even four knots, maybe go get yourself a tall boy, a tall boy PBR, a 16 ounce can, and fill that up, because that'll probably be around 11 or 12 pounds. I'm trying to do the math. If you need even more weight than that, you probably shouldn't be fishing that day. And if you really want to fish that day, go get yourself a 24 ounce twisted tee, because those things are big. That's probably gonna be like a 20 pound weight. <laughs> weight 16, let me do the math. Actually, that'll come out to like a 16 or 17 pound weight. Yeah, maybe that's what you want. And the fourth thing that you're gonna need is a, a hook. Any kind of hook will work. Small hook, big hook, it really doesn't matter what hook you use. Just use a cheap hook. And the hook is gonna end up sticking out of here, and that's what you can clip your weight to, or however you attach your weight to your rig. I'm gonna show you exactly how I pour these lead weights. I'm gonna melt some lead tonight, and then show you how that goes. But let's talk about the lead. Where can you get lead? If you look at these lead weights, they're kind of like funny looking. That's because these were picked up off the bottom of the ocean under a bridge. Big thanks to my buddy Craig for uh, diving the bridges and getting me all these lead weights. That's one great way to get lead. If you call up almost any car, uh, like a place that does car tires, they almost always have a big gallon, five gallon bucket just full of car tire weights. You can call them up. Call around, ask your friends. There's some thrift stores where you can usually buy lead at $2 a pound, which sounds like a lot, but it's not. So if you really don't know where to find free lead, go and buy some lead for $2 a pound because this eight pound weight was $33, $34. So even if you're paying $2 a pound and you're making an eight pound weight, that's only $16. So you're still paying less than half if you would just buy this in a store. So get yourself some lead, pour it into your lead melter, whether it's this thing or whatever pot you got. Now when you see me melting the lead, I have on safety goggles, which is very important because if you leave any water in your truly can or whatever can you're using as your mold, and you pour melted lead onto that water, it's gonna like explode. 
and little lead is going to fly everywhere. So make sure you wear safety goggles. Don't let there be any water or any kind of moisture inside of your can when you pour the lead in there. You're going to see fumes, white smoke coming off the melting lead. Do not inhale those. I was not wearing a mask like I should have been. I was doing it outside, but don't breathe that smoke in. Don't do what I did. That was a mistake, not doing that again. Melt your lead, pour it into your mold. In this case, all I did was cut the top with a knife. I just used the knife like this, and I just basically cut the top off. It makes a terrible sound. Make sure your girlfriend's not in the room when you do it. I learned that the hard way. And then, boom, your mold is done. If you want a four pound weight for maybe deep dropping for snapper or grouper, you just cut the can in half, and that should be a four pound weight. Or if you just need some even smaller, lighter weights like this one, which is great for mutton snapper fishing or whatever you're doing. I actually had a subscriber make this one for me and he used those little metal shampoo canisters that you get at a hotel. So if you ever go to a hotel, save those little shampoo canisters. So you can even see the bottom. It's kind of like, it's got that outline of the canister that he used. Anything metal is gonna work as a mold for, for lead. And then once the lead is all melted, you take your hook, like a nice J hook like that, and you just stick it in the melted lead. What I didn't do in the video and what I should have done was take like a Q-tip or a twig or a stick or anything like this, so it holds it, and then drop it on the can like that, so it holds it in place. What I did was I took pliers and I dipped that into the melted lead and then I stood there. And after a few minutes, it's still, the lead was still uh, not hardened. So I was just sitting there holding it and eventually it started to get harder and I was able to let go of it. But moral of this story, put a little twig on there and you could just set it right on the can. Yeah, I'll just show you the clip of me making these lead weights. We're gonna make some lead weights for sword fishing tonight. We're going sword fishing in the morning. So, you might want to stand a little further back because I don't know what's going to happen here. But basically, we took a, a white claw and cut the top off. Bugs. Cut the top off of it. And we're just, I got some lead melting here, and I'm just going to ladle the lead into the white claw. Okay. Okay, it's working. Wow, this is easier than I thought it would be. How's this look on camera? Can you see it pouring in here? I'll pour it like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no idea how much this is gonna, this weight's gonna end up weighing, but I think around eight pounds. Yeah, this is gonna work. It's just enough lead for one weight. And what I'm going to do now is I got this hook. I'm going to put the hook in there. Just like that. I'm hoping it hardens. I don't know how long this takes to cool. Hopefully not too long. It should. It should cool fairly quick. I'm worried if I drop the hook, it's just gonna disappear into the lead. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep pouring lead into it. Yeah, we're learning as we go here. Now I'm gonna stick the hook in. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna make it melt quicker <laughs> or harden. 
if I was smart, I would have put like a piece of wood through the hook so then I could just sit it down. Let's see, I'm going to try to just let go of the hook. Oh! Trying to think if we have like a uh, like a toothpick or something. I've got an idea. Don't move. Okay. Okay. Got a Q-tip. I'm put the Q-tip through the hook. Just like that. Oh well, there we go. Oh, safe. Stayed. Now we're just gonna let it uh, cool. Here's the weights that we made last night. The White Claw, and we got a Corona Premier weight. They both came out to eight pounds. This is also an eight pound weight that I bought at a store for $33.99, so making your own weights sure does save some money. And Manny Puig from Jackass and the Wild Boys made me this trident, so I'm gonna try to Spear the swordfish. This is where our weight's gonna clip on. In our case, we're gonna drop down the white claw first because it's probably, you know, that's what's in right now, so. You gotta go with the trend. So, basically I just clip it on there just like that. It's gonna sit on the line like this. We'll drop that down. Boom. Now I am using these pre-rigged squids. Yeah, most people make their own baits, but we had date night yesterday, so I didn't have no time to make no squid rigs. We'll throw this squid out there. Bam. By the way, we have three knots of current right now. So this eight pound weight should do just fine. The squid is probably 50 or 60 feet that way now. The current kind of pushed the squid that way. The weight's right here. So now it'll all go down in a nice synced up pattern. So this thing is probably going to drop very fast. Holy smokes, there it goes. It's dropping fast. I'm going to let it hit the bottom. It'll be a pretty solid clonk when it hits the bottom and then I'll reel it up maybe 100 feet and then and that's it, then we wait. We'll think of something to do while we wait. And there you have it. That's basically all I had to do. Once the lead weights were poured, the hook was in and setting, it took about maybe like 10, 10 to 20 minutes for it to fully harden. And then it was hot, like really hot for probably at least a few hours. So if you wanna speed that process up, maybe you gotta go fishing or something. At that point, once it's fully hardened, you can probably drop it into a bucket of cold water and I think that would cool it down real quick. And that's basically how you can make your own lead weights for free or for half the cost, depends how you're getting your lead. You can drink while you do it. So it's a great fun activity. Just make sure you wear a mask so you're not inhaling that stuff. I probably lost a few brain cells from that. So I am not promoting that part of lead melting. Another thing, you can take the can off of this if you want, but I left the can on. That way I don't have to physically be touching the lead. When I have this on my boat, I'm, I'm touching the can instead of like that lead weight that I bought at the fishing store. I was just holding it with my bare hands and I try to work with lead as little as possible. All this lead is usually stored away and I tr like rarely touch it. This is the most I've ever touched lead just for this video, so. Since I'm shortening my lifespan, you should hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and watch that sword fishing video tomorrow.
Thanks for watching, guys. Whoa, hold up. I have one more shameless self-promotion, and that is SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. is a store that I launched not too long ago, and I have a swordfish rig that should be done in two or three months. That'll be available on the store, but we got everything from Mahi rigs already on there, snapper rigs, grouper rigs, Pompano beach style fishing rigs. Gonna have a bunch of trolling rigs made for ballyhoo, weedless squid skirts. What else we got on there? Deep drop rigs. If you wanna help me out, help the channel out, go to SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com, buy some of my rigs. They come in really cool, nice packaging. I went above and beyond on the packaging so you can reuse that actually for other rigs. Yeah, definitely check it out. I'm also gonna start offering charters on my boat Maybe by next month, I'm not sure. It depends how fast I get some licenses done. So on that website, you're also gonna be able to book a charter with me directly. And all the rigs that I sell on the SouthFordaFishingChannel.com website are rigs that I use when I go offshore. So I'm always testing them, making sure they catch fish. I call them battle testing it. And yeah, please and thank you. Cheers, guys and girls. Oh.